In this experiment, we're going to oxidise uh, ethanol to ethanol using sodium dichromate. So you can see here we've got a, a, a funnel going down into a pear-shaped flask. Um, in the funnel, we've got ethanol and sodium dichromate. And in the pear-shaped flask, we've got concentrated uh, sulfuric acid, which is mixed with a little bit of water. And we're going to get that boiling. And we're going to very slowly add the ethanol and the oxidizing mixture to the sulfuric acid, drop by drop. The ethanol, the aldehyde, is very volatile. And we want to distill that over um, quickly using our distillation apparatus uh, into ice cold water because if it stays in here uh, in the pear shaped flask it will oxidize further to ethanoic acid our carboxylic acid and we don't want that to happen we want to make an aldehyde and aldehydes are very volatile so they've got a low uh, boiling point so this should evaporate and then condense in the condenser and go straight into our receiving flask. What you should notice is a colour change. So here's our sodium uh, dichromate. It's in the oxidation, the chromium is in the oxidation state, it's plus six. It will be reduced to plus three when it oxidises the alcohol. So we should see it go from this lovely orange colour to a green if it works. We can see here the reaction mis mixture is being slowly dripped into the flask and look at the colour change. So now we know the uh, alcohol has been oxidised because our chromium has been reduced from plus six to plus three. Look at that beautiful green colour as opposed to the orange. The product distilled over into our receiving flask which is in ice water to condense it so then we took a few drops of that and tested it tested our product with Brady's reagent it's an orange solution here and you can see we got a positive test so we've got a lovely precipitate formed which indicates that we have made an aldehyde